Previously on balls.co.za. Chat today, but we are chatting cycling because it's the it's the August this weekend, a massive weekend in South African sport and and South African cycling as well. And we're very happy to be joined by a friend of the show, Malcolm Langer. We believe we can call him a friend. And sitting next to him, looking very lean. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, defending champ Herman Fischer of Team Benitez. Guys, how's it? Yeah, good, man. Good on yourself. Yes, very well. And, and awesome to, to have you guys on the show today as you prep for, hopefully, a defense of your title. Yeah, well, obviously, we're not starting a race not to win. So we'll give it our best shot and try to win it for Bonitas Pro Cycling. Yes, Johnny, you yeah. said you had some background information. For yeah, us. No, well, I certainly did, and I, I'm certainly rooting for, uh, for Herman uh, from Team Benitez. I mean, if you look at Robert Hunter, who we've also spoken to a lot on the show, he's the only rider, would I be correct in saying, uh, Mel, in 21 years to successfully defend uh, the August title with back-to-back wins? Yeah, that's right. John, he won it yeah, two, years, two years in a row. Yes. Uh, it was 2008 and 2007, if I'm yeah. not so there's a lot of pressure, obviously, that comes with an event like this. And, and just looking at, at Herman, he looks very composed. Uh, a lot of uh, advice and guidance that you've given him. Uh, more relaxed than ever. Well, you've done very well to deduce that by looking at Herman for the last 45 <laughs> seconds. But no, you've done well. He does look so Is relaxed. that true, Herman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great to have Malcolm Langer being here. He's got so many experience and he just... Try to keep me calm and the whole team and get everyone focused for Sunday's race. And yeah, you know, being I think we can fill Robbie Hunter's shoes winning the race back the two years in a row, especially with the team's backup. Everyone is on form, everyone looks good, and it's going to be an awesome race. And I believe we can win it two years in a row. So you've got the experience of Malcolm Langer with you, without giving too much away in team strategy and all that. How do you go about preparing guys for for the Argus, and how do you go about implementing a strategy? Well. Well, I think, you know, from my side, it's not really, I don't really actually prep them. I mean, obviously, I come in with a bit of experience and tell them what they can expect and what could happen in the race because, yes, I've done it a, a couple of times and there's a lot of scenarios. But cycling is such a great sport that, you know, anything can happen on the day. So you kind of plan for most things that can happen and, and you know, could happen on the day. So you plan for that. And every time you ride the August, it's a different type of race. It's, yeah. never, a, it's never a straightforward conclusion. Sometimes there's a break that, it goes up the road. Sometimes it's a bunch kick. So you've got to plan for that. And we've really got a good team. And some of the guys have just come off the Tour de Bourland, which finished today. Um, so, you know, these are the, more the Tour riders, which could prep them for the for the day on, on Sunday. Hadaman's been kind of resting his legs for, for, obviously, the Sunday's race. It normally comes to a sprint, so you kind of look after your sprinters. But, you know, conditions play a big role. There's a lot of wind. I mean, at the year Lance came out here, we also we put it in the gutter and it, it broke up. So... You know, there's a lot of scenarios that could pan out in the day. So these guys experience pros. Hammond's been around. He's had to race against me a couple of times. So you know, he knows what to do by himself. Yeah, but we're talking about stiff competition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, I mean, competitions, I mean, it's got much, much stiffer since I've stopped. Yeah. <laughs> but you, sorry, Johnny, I know you want to jump in there. But, but yeah, Mal- Malcolm mentioned the weather. And I mean, when I've been up in Joburg for four years now. The last, when I left, was 2010. And that year... The lasting impression I'll have of that year was the pumping, howling gale force wind at about six o'clock in the morning when you guys set off because you start in the middle of the city there and it kind of funnels its way through in between the buildings. And then, of course, you're out on, on the M3 towards Takai and, you know, you're exposed. The, the wind is a major factor. It, it, it's incredible sometimes how strong it is. Yeah, it plays a big role. It was actually 2009 that year. I actually remember it very well. You know, the guys, there were pictures of guys with their bikes basically flapping in the wind. That was That's so the one. Yes, you're right. So, yes, I mean, that does play a big role, and they're predicting a lot of wind on the day. I think it's going to come up later on in the day, so your fun riders or your hackers are going to have a really tough day out there, that's for sure. Herman, we know that psychologically the toughest part of that race is has got to be Seika Bossi. How, I mean, are, it, it's got to be a big fear for you, surely. Because he says that, but because Johnny never actually did Seika Bossi, he did it on the back of a Coke truck, so it, it must be for the guys that actually cycle. <laughs> bullshit, it, bullshit, it, Simon. It must be I, tough. I have done... 11 August cycle tours and you've done how many? I've done uh, 94.7. There you go. You see, so there we go. Out of the mouths of drunks and babes. You're calling the pot, calling the kettle black. Sorry, so carry on. 
I've seen you on a bike. Don't worry. Thank I'm you very much, ahead. Malcolm. Yeah, jealousy. Get jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, to Johnny's question. Yeah, uh, to just looking at that uh, at Seika Bossi, just psychologically, that's got to be a huge factor. Are you are you afraid of that uh, that, that part of the race? Yeah, obviously a little bit, but all the preparations went well. So, and with Team Monitors behind my back and, and getting me over that climb, I'm I'm pretty confident that I can get over it. Uh, but it's anything can happen in the race. It's a cycling race. It's a, anything can go wrong. Anything can play into your favour. But hopefully, I can get. I manage to get my my legs over that climb. And who do you foresee as major competition this year? Uh, well, I know the Quick Step guys, um, where you go from Quick Step, they're sending a team of six riders down here. So um, I'll see them as a big threat. And then obviously the, the local sprinters from Team Westfall and Abantu and so on. Nolan Hoffman, those guys, yeah. Yeah. And, but we're up for a challenge and we're not going to give them an a easy win. We'll definitely give it a good run. Okay, so... To- for someone that spends his life mainly on a spinning bike and has done 194.7, three hours 30, I'll have you know, three hours 30. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Natural. I mean, you are a natural. I'm a natural athlete, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'll have you, I rode about 15 minutes of it with John Walland and then <laughs> left him for dead because... I mean, was, I saw him holding on the back of a taxi. Ah, oh, shut up, Kelly, whatever. <laughs> but... Um, what, what obviously besides the pride factor and i'm sure there's obviously the fun, financial remuneration as well what uh kind of points or seeding do you get by winning the arcs does it allow you to enter take competitions abroad is there any kind of perk in that regard no look i think look the august has just become such a major event and there's such a focal point on it you know, there's so many people that know the race so obviously for sponsors to pull it off it is you know i always term it as world champs in south africa yeah, you know, it's it's just the race to try and pull off, and uh, it's an important one on the calendar. But the guys race so many races in a year; it really is just another sort of race. But yet, there's a, a huge spectacle because there's you know thousands just lining up to take part in. It. So it's just got a, an awesome feel about it. I mean, everybody wants to ride the August. You know, your first question you get asked: you might have been Olympic champion, but the first question I was: have you done the August? You know, so yeah, yeah. you've got it. You've got it. Organs, if you want it, it's it's really a nice thing to have. You know. Okay, gee, sorry, the line's going, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna let you go. But thank you for for your time this afternoon, Malcolm. Always nice chatting to you. We hope to catch up with you during the Tour de France. You were fantastic for us last year, so we hope to have you back in studio. Uh, Herman Sterkte, alles van die beste. I hope you can defend your title this year. Yeah, yeah bye. Thank you. I'm glad to have you on show it and ons genieten het baie. Yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Go yeah. team Benitas. There you go, Johnny, uh, you. ensuring that Thanks. he gets a ride for you guys at the 94.7 <laughs> as well. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Good luck. Cheers, Mel. Cheers, Herman. There you go. Malcolm Langer and Herman for sure joining us this afternoon. And a afternoon. big thanks to Candace Space as well for Thank setting that all up. Thanks, for Candace. setting us up yeah. this afternoon.